是个神。Amulets of protection were crafted against Lamash too. This one is written in Akkadian, which is odd because I can't read Akkadian, but I can read a lot of this. I'm not sure what's happening. Maybe Kelsey over at Wedgie can help.、Uh, but it looks Sumerian to me. There are a couple of signs which I don't recognise, but I think if I were to sit down for half an hour and translate this, I could probably translate it. But let's just、uh, translate a couple of the lines I'm sure about. So the top four lines I am certain about, and it reads: En enuru dime dumu anu. And then on the next couple of lines, there's, there's too many signs that I can't make out either because it's too blurry or I just don't recognise it. I don't recognise this one here. And here on these three lines, it's yelling out her name several times over. With this line, I'm pretty sure saying "dime ninmaha." And then the last line that I'm pretty sure about is this one: "Gi anahe pada, gi ki ahe pada." And this line is identical to the ending of this amulet, which is also a、uh, protection spell against Lamashtu. And I can read this too, but it does have an official translation, which reads: "O、oh, Lamashtu, daughter of Anu, thou art great among the gods. Be conjured by the heavens and be conjured by the earth." Notice the difference between this translation and my translation. He's put conjured, I put judged, and and I did that because for the life of me, I can't see conjured written there anywhere. I can see judged though, but not conjured. 